Oh yeah, I got it. Oh yeah. Those mountains, those are the bridgers. That is Bozeman Pond. It's not a pond you want to like catch something and eat out of, but it's fun. And you can go there and you can catch bluegill, which I've caught before, and bass, and some trout, rainbow trout. I've caught actually all of those before. And now that I have a body cam, hopefully we can catch some. What a weird camera angle, but it works, right? I, I need some shorts. I've got some shorts. Most people at the gym do not know I'm gay. And one of the things I hear more than anything is once they find out, and they find out for a lot of different reasons. I don't, I don't go up and just tell them, but different things will happen, and I'll end up telling them. If they're digging for information, I'll tell them. I'm gay. I, I'm not hiding it. But one of the biggest things that is annoying about the whole situation is when someone says, Oh, you're gay. Well, as long as you don't flaunt it. It's like, what the fuck does that actually mean? I, I, what does it mean? That's all I'm saying. I used to have more of like a, a, a more judgmental side to me. And I used to judge people that were more flamboyant. And then I worked on the oil rigs. And a lot of the most macho guys were fucking assholes. Killing animals just to kill. Fuck that energy. Not all of them were like that. There's macho guys that are have a soft spot, you know, and really truly do care about being a good person. And that's what counts. So we're going fishing down at that pond right there. So the other day at the gym, and this is not like an isolated thing. This has actually happened quite a few times. But I was at the gym and somebody was talking to one of the girls that works there and they were like, man, I have the worst timing. Remember when your lesbian friend was here and I started calling that person a fag? And you know, I've known this guy at face value for years. He just had no idea I was gay or whatnot. And then, of course, I just told him, I was like, you know, I'm gay, I can handle it. I worked on the oil rigs. I was around a lot of homophobes, but he didn't know I was gay. And of course he said, well, as long as you don't flaunt it. And like, what the fuck does that actually mean? Does that mean as long as you don't hit on somebody? Does that mean as long as you don't talk too gay? Because there's there's like the stereotypical gay boys. People have to know there's a lot of gay voices. Like a person from the South that's gay sounds different than someone from New York that's gay, right? What is the gay voice? I have it too, because I'm gay or bi. But when it really comes down to it, it's like, what does that actually mean? Judge somebody based off their heart. And if you can't do that, if you're offended because somebody's a little flamboyant, then you're an asshole. Let's be real. If somebody's a good worker and contributing to society, and if somebody is kind and honestly has a good heart, then embrace them. Who cares? Anyways, let's get the GoPro on me and let's catch some fish. I've caught one off this yellow fly, never off this pink one. I tried it. I caught one off this bluegill. They seem to be eating most things. Never had luck with the black one, but at Highlight Lake I do. I'm not like a fly expert, I just put a fly on to be honest. I try to match bugs near it, but I don't have like the actual name for it. This one's called a purple something, but I don't remember. You know what? I'm changing my mind. I'm going to go with one of these guys. Two bites, that's all I've gotten tonight. At least I know this one's catching their eye a little bit. Oh, finally! That is not a bluegill. Oh, it is. It's a fighter. Cool. Okay, here's a little bluegill. He darted. Cool. They're biting like crazy now. They're ready to eat. Just, oh, come on, dog. He didn't take it. Damn it. Come on, come on. Take it, take it. Ooh, oh, I got it, got it. Oh yeah. It's probably just another bluegill. I don't know, he's fighting. What is it? Another bluegill. Not a bad thing though. Whoa, he's got the hook in there. And they're good. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy, you got it in there good. That was a little guy. So this is my third bluegill of the night. Might be my last. This is the first year I've actually caught bluegill. It's not typically something you catch in Montana. They're probably not native to this pond, but the other day I caught some big ones. 
like maybe not quite twice this big but one and a half times bigger than this I know they get way bigger than that but it seems to be a pretty decent sized one for this pond let's put it back it is dark I don't think there's one way to be gay I think you can be gay in so many different ways oh what happened to my line that's weird as long as you don't flaunt it I feel like Everything's flaunting. If you wear a Nike hat, you're flaunting it. If you wear a Make America Great Again hat, you're flaunting it. I just wonder why some people even care at this point. Yesterday, I caught three bluegill. I caught zero bass, unfortunately, but it was still fun. I just like getting out, and that place is so close to where I live that I can just go out and actually be there for like two hours or an hour, and I have a good time. Show them your haircut. Oh, it's not done, but it still looks good, like on the sides at least. I decided to shave. I was looking kind of homely. I'm going to go fishing today and I'll complete the video. This fellow that was at the gym that was somewhat homophobic, he doesn't mind if someone's gay as long as they don't flaunt it. One of the things he mentioned was Hollywood. He says he doesn't like how Hollywood is flaunting the gay agenda. The gay agenda? What is the gay agenda? You just <laughs> farted, man. What the fuck? That's, that's rank. Did you eat that hummus? No. What did you eat, boy? I ate oatmeal. <laughs> that Left Chinese, oatmeal man. That's what it is. Chinese. That's a Chinese fart. Oh, man. God. Damn. Ooh. Crazy. Sewage. <laughs> Would you shut up? I'm sorry. It's bad. You could have done it outside the car. We were just getting in. I'm going to go back fishing and hopefully catch something other than bluegill. <laughs> Don't tell me you're tired of bluegill already. You just started catching them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just want to catch something different, like a, another bass or a... Catch a sturgeon. Sturgeon? There are none in there. So. Huh. I'm just joking. I'd love to catch a pike someday, somewhere else. There's so many kinds of fish that he was unaware of. Mm -hmm. You can catch quite a few kinds of fish in Montana. Usually you just think of trout. I need to get my stuff. Oh, I was going to ask you. Have you ever heard that, like, it's okay to be gay as long as you don't flaunt it? Well, of course. I've always so you heard have. that. <laughs> I've always heard that. Do you know what that means? Not really. The only thing I can uh, assume... Don't hit on me. Don't hit on me, <laughs> or maybe, I don't know, don't be so public with it, like... Don't, don't flaunt, no public affection. No public affection, and my guess is they're probably, unless you're, don't, don't be acting... Effeminate would be my oh, guess. Oh, so don't be flamboyant. Don't be flamboyant. That's that's what I assume. I am not 100% certain. That would be a good question to start asking people when they say that. And I think you did. What oh, do yeah. you mean by that exactly? Well, it ultimately gets into, yeah, like the gay voice and being too feminine. Or too, too flamboyant. But really, it should be based off how nice of a person you are. Not if you talk a little bit gay which th there is a stereotypical gay the voice lisp, the gay list but but people have lots of different voices that are gay yeah so. not everyone that is gay obviously has a list but uh, it, it ultimately gets down to the gay agenda too like people think that hollywood has a gay agenda to start showing gay people but even though that's true even though hollywood is taking a turn and starting Thank to goodness. show gay people it's a good thing They've always shown gay people, but they've always shown them as like psycho monsters, <laughs> really crazy, sick individuals that are really struggling, which is true of a lot of people. A lot of people struggle but from being gay in today's society. But if people were just allowed to be themselves and be real, then there would be less mental illness that comes with being gay. Because you can just be yourself. You don't have to pretend something. Real quick, is it everything an agenda to a certain degree? Everything is an agenda. Like Make America Great Again is an agenda. Democrats have an agenda. Republicans have an agenda. Walmart has an agenda. Restaurants Amazon's have, have an agenda. agenda. Every business has an agenda. MSG has an agenda to mm. sell and be put in like lots of products. Uh, Roundup has an agenda. And gay is not the worst thing in the world, right? No. No. No! <laughs> I feel like overall Bozeman is changing. I meet more people that just don't really care. I'm not a big city guy. When I was a young gay dude, young guy, I thought it would be cool to go to San Francisco or something because I was like, damn, I'll meet gay people. But then I started realizing that there's too many freaking people. Anyways, I'm gonna try to get a bluegill, hopefully get a bass, maybe a rainbow trout. 
You can see the trains going right there. See that? Okay, let's get it. Come on, come on, come on. Take it. Oh, yeah, I took it. Yeah. Where did I get, though? Oh, I got a rainbow. So here's a nice rainbow in this pond. I'm gonna throw it back in the water so it's not out too long, but yeah. The way I view a person. There it goes. See, there it goes. The way I view a person is if we have a lot in common, whether or not you're gay, straight, trans, 50, 20. If we have stuff in common and you're a nice person, that's when I'd like to hang out with you. What was I using? I think I was using a bee. I saw a bee flying around. Just like maybe, I don't even know if it was a bumblebee. I think it was a bumblebee. But I basically have something that looks like a, a bee, essentially. And I saw a fish jump. Had a great cast right to it right away. I've been losing a lot of flies. I need to start being more cautious of my flies. and check them before I cast them again. What happens is I'll catch a fish and then I cast out the fly afterwards and it had like a weak spot and I lose the fly. And it's getting not, no, not so much expensive, but just annoying. I need to be more responsible. Oh yeah, I got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a fighter, man. He's trying to get off. So oh, that's the problem. Oh, I, I didn't. I got. I lost him. I was gonna call it a night, but. I think I'm gonna try for one more fish. I'm not sure what to use. I think I'm gonna try this guy. Okay, I don't know what the chances are, but I actually hooked my old fly. See that yellow fly on there? Somehow, I got it caught on a piece of wood over there, and I hooked the fly that I had lost. That is crazy. Well, I got my fly back. <laughs> okay. Hey, buddy, stop. So, this is actually my third fish tonight. I almost had another rainbow but it got away, but I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. Sorry, it's been about two and a half weeks since I posted. Things come up, um, and it is what it is. It's Gay Pride Month. So it is. We just barely got it in time, because your birthday's coming up, which means it's almost the end of the month. His birthday's on the 29th of June, and he's gonna be 60 years old. And he's lying through his teeth. How old are you gonna be? 58. So don't make me any older than I have to be. You want to know another thing that's coming up? Our 10 year anniversary. In October. We've got a few more months on that too. I guess that's when we made it official, but. Been together for almost 10 years. Married for a few months. Married for a few months. We're lucky to actually have that equal right to be able to marry the same. We're like, we're not asking for more. We just are lucky enough to be able to get married. That's about it. That's about it. It's I'm going to get on to oh, wait, wait, my wait. gay agenda of going and weeding the garden. <laughs> weeding the garden? Or are you doing the porch? I'm going to be doing both. I'm oh. going to be like fixing the screwing porch. the boards down into the porch deck and weeding a garden. Hopefully I get both those done today. If you made it this far, thank you for supporting us. Feel free to like this video and subscribe to Wire Us. Wire Us. And Chris. Love, Love you long time. time. Get on with our agendas. How come you're not fishing with me? Because I haven't decided to go yet. You should. I should. There's other things I want to be doing. Have you caught a rainbow trout before? Of course. You caught a rainbow? Where? Oh, no, I just caught brook. Oh, I did in back in North Carolina. Oh, okay. But see, you haven't caught one in Montana yet. Don't think so. You caught, caught throat and you caught brook trout. That's true.